Hey there, this is Jennifer from the blog The Everyday Farmhouse, and today I'm in my dining room. My husband and I just finished this project. We painted buffalo checks on the walls. I worked in collaboration with Zebra Paint Brushes, and we got this project done. Now, I will give you the disclaimer this took several days, and I would maybe recommend this for an accent wall. Uh, I don't know if I would again recommend an entire room. <laughs> so it was a lot of work. Uh, there's a lot of steps that go into it, but the results really are fabulous in my opinion. I, I think they turned out really well. Um, you're going to need lots and lots of blue tape. I think we probably went through more than four rolls of this, and we used the wider tape because this just gives you more, when we taped off, it gives you more room for air when you're rolling or brushing. Uh, if you use the skinny tape, it would be really easy to over roll into another square. Uh, so, the other things we use are these paint brushes. Um, I'll explain what I use this one for later in the video. Uh, this one is great for cutting in. It's one of the sharpest edges I've ever used on a paintbrush. It's very precise. This room has lots of windows. Almost all of the walls are windows or there's door openings. And um, there was a lot of cutting in to do. And so this brush, we did not tape off any of the woodwork or the windows and we just went to town with this and it worked really well. So that was, that was nice to use. Um, the first thing you need to do is pick your paint colors. And this is where I went wrong. I made the mistake of trying to match two different gray colors. And the best thing to do, I'll tell you, is to pick the color that you want, the darkest color, go with that, and then ask your paint person to mix the next lighter color at 50% saturation. Uh, we live in a very rural area, and I, I don't know, the people that were working at the paint store, like, I don't think they get a lot of people asking for this because I went to two different places and they stared at me crazy. Um, but I finally found somebody who knew what I was talking about, and they were able to mix it at 50% saturation. Um, I used Dutch Boy Paint, Baltic Gray, and then just had the second color, 50%. True Buffalo Check has four colors and my husband completely refused to do that. And now that we're done with the project, I'm so glad he did because that would have been just more taping. Okay, another thing, uh, this brush is nice for the angles, but I will say use a yogurt container or something smaller. The handle's nice for holding, but you get your hand messy dipping down it if you're using the whole can. Um, the other tip I wanna give you is these brushes have been used and used and used, and they still look really good. We found a tip where you wet the paintbrush prior to painting and, of course, shake most of the water out. But if the bristles are damp, then that paint doesn't dry. You know how usually you have a line of dried paint on your paintbrush. That did not happen for us because we wet the paintbrushes first. So that's a really great tip to do. So here's where we started. Um, we just had a, a blank room. And so what I liked about this this process was that now we have the look of wallpaper without the permanence of wallpaper or the cost of the peel and stick wallpaper that you can now buy. It's very pricey, like $30 a roll, and it would have taken a lot of wallpaper to cover this room. So that's what I like about this, this process. So the first thing you want to do is prepare your walls. Um, patch any holes that you have. And my second tip for that would be uh, make sure, even if you're using paint, this Dutch Boy paint we used came with primer in it, go ahead and prime wherever you've patched. We found that the paint, if we didn't prime, it did not stick to the wall, which is very discouraging to go pull the tape off and find that your <laughs> layer of paint is coming with it. So just make sure it's dry and, and well prepared before you embark on this project. Uh, this is going to take days to so just go into it knowing that, not days of labor necessarily, but you're going to need to let your paint dry between steps. So the first step uh, where we started was we had a, a cream colored room. Um, so our first step was to paint the walls white. We um, did a Sherwin-Williams white paint and I think it was bright white. Um, that was for our base coat. We rolled that and cut it around the edges with the, the good brushes. And after we let that dry, you should let it dry for 24 hours. Some of these steps, we went 12 hours and it worked out okay. For that one, we let it dry complete 24 hours. Okay, so after your base color has dried, your next step is to tape horizontal lines. Now, prior to this, you're going to do some math, and this is where my husband came in handy because 
Um, I knew I wanted the squares to be about nine inches because that's about the size of a roller. It makes it easy to roll. Um, he did the math to get it down to this like sixteenth of an inch. I think our squares are nine, nine and nine sixteenths or something like that. Um, and so we went around the room and just marked that. Um, a super handy tool to have would be a laser leveler. Uh, that's, that's something that we use that just really made this a lot simpler. We didn't have to mark on the walls so much. We just made a little notch and then lined the laser up to go with that. So after you, you do that, you're going down, um, taping all of your horizontal lines. Okay, once you've taped, this is one of the best tips that we have for keeping your line super straight. Once you have the tape up there, get your two and a half inch brush, dip it in the white paint. So you're gonna use the color that you had underneath and go over all of your tape to seal the tape. That way, if any color bleeds through, if there's any bleeding, it's going to be the color that's underneath. And this worked perfectly. You don't have to let that dry for 12 or 24 hours. It's a light coat, just let it dry. By the time you work your way all the way around the room, we found that where we started was dry enough to go ahead and start rolling. And so we roll now um, with the lightest gray. So there's two grays, the dark and the light. This is your light gray. You're going to paint your uh, horizontal stripes with your light gray paint now. Okay, as soon as you're done rolling and you have, whether your paint covers in one coat or not, we, we bought paint that should cover in one coat. We still have to touch up some areas. The next tip we have is to pull the paint, the tape off right away before the paint's even dry. Just go ahead and pull it off. Your hands will get a little messy, but that also helps to ensure the nice clean lines and without the tape sitting there while the paint dries, that, that you have greater chance of pulling some of the paint off if you let it dry on there. So pull the tape off while the paint is wet. So let that dry for 12 to 24 hours and next you're going to go in and tape off all of your vertical lines. And again, we just made notches along the top, uh, 9 and 9 sixteenths inches, and you're going to tape, of course, um, you want to make a skinny row and then a wider row where you're going to be painting so your, your tape will go outside the line where you're going to be painting and then inside the one where you're not painting. Outside the one where you'll be painting and then inside where you will not be painting. You can see that in the pictures how we take that. And then you're going to paint um, your vertical lines with the roller using the light gray paint again. So you did your horizontal lines light gray. Now you're going to do your vertical lines light gray and let that dry. You need to leave the paint, the tape on this time. Let that dry for 12 to 24 hours and then you get to do your final taping, which will be to go back on those rows and tape your squares off. And this is where you'll paint your darkest color now. And that would be the original color that you picked. So you'll go in and tape that, make sure to cut it around any ceilings or corners and uh, woodwork. And then you pull that off right away again before the paint is dry. You're taking all your tape off and you're going to reveal your finished buffalo check walls. So thanks so much for watching how we did this project. It, it, it was a lot of fun, it was a lot of work, but we, we enjoyed it for the most part with things once we got it figured out. So if you follow the steps, if you have everything prepared ahead of time and you're sure of your paint colors, then this project should take about two to three days to complete, allowing drying time. And you'll have what looks like wallpaper without that commitment. So thanks so much for tuning in today and I appreciate you watching. Have a great day.